everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am starting something new. I am doing what is called Garden Gurus. You'll see a lot of hashtags with that and a lot of different clubs and whatnot. And what Garden Gurus is, is basically like local people coming together and throwing out tips and help for your uh, growing area. So this is my first Garden Gurus uh, video and I really wanted to talk about winter sowing because in my area, which is uh, Michiana, which is the Michigan, Indiana area, Zone 5B, um, winter sowing really works out great. Basically, you can winter sow just about anywhere um, stuff grows. You make little red, little um, greenhouses out of milk jugs, so you're recycling and it grows really well. And I'll show you an update of my winter sowing progress outside. But I have some more seeds to sow because some of my other experiments just didn't turn out so hot, so I'm going to go back to this. So what I'm going to end up doing is making, um, turning the milk jug into something like this with the holes drilled at the bottom for drainage and then the hinge right here and I'm going to tape, up, tape it up after I'm done putting soil in there, watering and planting the seeds of course. What I really like about winter sowing is that it's pretty much maintenance free. You could put it out and leave it in the, so uh, in the snow, you could do it over winter and things are going to pop up when they're ready. Um, it's also self-watering. You leave the caps off and then all the rain and snow gets in there and then it, you don't have to really water it except for if you get a really dry spell you might want to check on it. So that's why I really wanted to toot the winter sowing idea horn. It's my first year doing winter sowing and I'm never going to stop this method. <laughs> so let's get into it. I got me a knife. And I have my Milwaukee drill here, and it's got an eighth inch drill bit on it. I wanted a quarter inch drill bit, and we had one, but it was so dull it wouldn't even go through plastic. So we're just going to put extra holes in with this one. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my knife, and I like to start back here by the handle. The handle is the best spot for the hinge, in my opinion. Now you could do winter sewing with other containers too, like um, juice containers, anything clear. Um, it can even be colored like I've 7-Up uh, bottles work just fine and things of that nature. So then I like to cut about uh, halfway to here then start on this side and meet them up in the middle. Simple. Now I always come to this point and I'm thinking well why didn't I drill the holes first? <laughs> Go ahead and drill several holes and I'm definitely going to put some down there where the creases are to make sure it really does have good uh, drainage. Oh, did I not plug it in? I guess not. So you see all the holes I put in there? <clears throat> so now we're ready to go fill it up. So I wanted to show you what kind of soil I'm using. I'm using the black gold natural and organic potting soil. You want to use potting soil in this instead of seed starting mix because the seeds are going to sit in there so long they will need the fertilization and uh, it helps keep in the moisture better. I've seen experiments with both uh, seed starting mix and potting soil mix and I I'm going to su suggest the potting soil mix for sure. So, <clears throat> my, my soil is already kind of damp anyway because I have it in a storage tote and then I put the lid on it and it uh, stays pretty damp in there so I don't have to really worry about pre-soaking my soil. And I have not experienced problems with fungus gnats with winter sowing yet. So I'm not going to worry about that so much. I'm going to go ahead and fill my milk jug up with the soil.
light and I'll be right back because I forgot water. <laughs> okay, so I've got the water and I use filtered water because I'm in the city. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pre-moisten my soil. Let it go nice and wet. And I do have the storage container lid underneath this so if it runs off it will be easy for me to take outside and dump off. And that's what also helps keep it uh, my potting soil and seed starting mix damp is having that moisture on the wood. Okay, so I have two different varieties of cauliflower. I have the green macerata from Breaker Creek Heirloom Seeds, and I have the snowball cauliflower, uh, cauliflower from the MI Gardener. So I'm going to go ahead and get some seeds out, I'm planting the green maceratas right now. And I'm going to kind of space these close together. Um, I'm not particularly going to follow the, the plant spacing instructions on the back of the seed packet because I do plan on transplanting them out to the ground. So I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle some in there. Go ahead and do the same thing with the other milk jug. Ooh, I got quite a bit in here. <laughs> oh well, the more the merrier, huh? <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to take my potting mix and Cover the seeds with the potting mix again. Let's kind of spread those seeds out a little bit more since I kind of clumped them up together. And I'm not going to cover them too deep. I'm trying to aim for a quarter of an inch deep because I'm going to follow the planting instructions on seed depth, however. I'm going to go back and spray these all down, make sure it gets nice and wet, and make sure the soil has good contact with those seeds. <clears throat> now I have my duct tape and I'm going to duct tape them shut. I like to start from the hinge area and work my way forward. And I'll start from the hinge area on both sides. That's how I like to do it. I'm not going to forget to uh, write down what this is <laughs> because it could get confusing when you see a bunch of brassica plants planted together. They kind of all look the same at first, right? Okay, cauliflower. Green. Maserata. And then the same thing with the other jug.
snowball. Now, the next part, stick them outside and let them do their thing, and I will show you the update. So then here is the update on the winter sowing. Look at that Desicho uh, de broccoli. Look how big that is. Look at these Mongolian giant sunflowers, how big that is. Winter sowing is fantastic, and I, if you haven't tried it, I strongly suggest you do give it a try. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please hit that like, like button, uh, leave a comment, and do consider subscribing. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. God bless.